Hey all, and welcome to Real Little Britain. Folks, tonight we've got something very, very special. Now, during the week, I picked up these. The International Project 7 2015. And basically what it was was 14 breweries in total. 7 British breweries, 7 American breweries. And they drew the colours of the rainbow. And they came together and they brewed 7 different beers. One British brewery, one American brewery, put them together, and you've got one colour of the rainbow. The first beer I'm going to brew tonight, or brew, first beer I'm going to try tonight, comes from um, two very good breweries, the Wild Beer uh, Company um, from Britain, and the Firestone Walker Brewing Company from America. And they uh, pulled out Violet, um, and I'm really looking forward to trying this beer. Um, this is batch number one. It was bottled on the 25th of 6, 2015. And if you can see there, um, there were only 380 cases of this brewed. So very, very lucky to get it. Love the bottles. And, you know, you've got the Firestone Walker uh, top on it and you've got the popper in as well. So we're going to uh, crack this bad boy up and we're going to see what this beer is like. Um, this uh, case was purchased from the Grumpy Goat and Redden. So uh, the beer itself is um, Violet Underground and it is uh, known as a cross Atlantic Wild Ale and it comes in at 5.5% ABV. So let's crack this bad boy open and let's see exactly what this beer is like. I have chilled it down for about 15 minutes. So there you go. Uh, and here we Oh, that opens with a lovely, I just got it just there in time, folks. There was just a little bit of pressure starting to build. Um, this beer, I can just stop it there. Look at that. Um, the actual International Project 7 series came with a Saren Craft glass. It's a two-fingered head, uh, lightning path bubbles, and it comes in this beautiful light golden yellow colour. Um, and you can see the carbonation popping up there absolutely fantastic and the beer itself is perfectly see-through we're going to go straight in with the nose whoa okay the first thing you get my mouth is watering you get lemons you get like rose petal you get limes you get this um, very much like a cidery, uh, apple-y, um, it's like a dry French cider. You're picking up blueberries. And you're getting that very, very, um, very much like gin. Nose, but the blueberry nose is lovely. There's a little bit of oak. Oh, let's go straight in, folks. Cheers. Wow. Oh, my good God. Oh, my good God. What have we got here? We've got lemons. We've got apples. We've got raspberry. On the nose I said there was blueberries. But actually on the taste it's raspberries. You're getting this wonderful kind of very much like candy sugar. There's a wonderful soreness to the beer. You get lemon sherbet. The beer's lovely and um, quite acidic, <clears throat> as it would, you would expect from this uh, type of sour beer. You likely get... <clears throat> That Parma Violet um, taste, and that's like kind of intertwined um, with the lemons, with the yeast, 
this is what you would you classify as a you know you also get that yeastiness to the beer I think it's a sour beer and um, the ABV is 5.5 percent it really is absolutely fantastic and with a lot of sours it's like you would drink it and say oh that would be it and then you would stop this just is so inviting and wants you to come back for more there's lovely um white grape notes i'm amazed and um, even with the goldenness of the beer you're starting to pick up um very much like straw there's some wheat it's like in the inside of the palate this is a beer of three halves which doesn't make sense so this would be a beer three thirds you have the malt backbone of the beer which is it's the making of the beer but it's acidic you've got the hops which are pungent um, and adds a lovely bitterness to the beer with the yeast then what you get is you get the water and you get the wildness and the rawness of that sour taste and it is absolutely fantastic folks this is a beer um everyone if you don't get it in the uh, international project m um, seven please try and get it as a single bottle uh, rob derbyshire you're gonna absolutely love this that's if you haven't tried it already this is absolutely stunning i have to go as far as saying this this is probably the best sour beer I've had so far. You don't get the raspberry in the nose. For me, it, it's not raspberry. It is. It's like a deep blueberry nose. But then when you drink it, it is just there. Imagine throwing raspberries into a really top quality prosecco or champagne, but then add that kind of nice wild, um, syrupy, just flowers and sticking them in. Whew. I am absolutely blown away, and um, so this came as part of the um, part of the set. I would easily pay six seventy a pound a bottle for this. I'm going to try and source it again uh, and see if I can get it. And um, the Wild Beer Company, um, for me, is a fantastic brewery. The brewery of beer called Bibble, stunning. Um, Firestone Walker. Um, I haven't had a lot of their beers, but what I have had is good. I see now that their cans are in the UK. Really looking forward to trying it. But folks, absolutely uh, fantastic. This to me is a beer which is well aged as well. Um, you know, you're getting them wonderful, wonderful deep oak notes which you would get from a barrel aged sour. Um, but for me, it's about the fruit. It's about the malt. Um, and it's again about that yeast um, and then you've got that wonderful very very sharp but pleasant um, soreness which interacts with all the different ingredients and um, what the I give Firestone Walker and the Wild Beer Co for their Violet Underground their cross Atlantic Wild Ale at five and a half percent this is part of the international um, the international project to seven two thousand fifteen. 2015 this to me without a doubt without a doubt folks without a doubt is a 10 out of 10 beer 10 out of 10 this is as what uh, simon from the real guy would say stone the crows cheers and slam a heart. <laughs>